Well, here at the shop's Christmas Eve. Uh, I'm just waiting for customer to come pick up the last engine for the year. Um, and I figured while I'm doing that, I'm going to uh, I'm going to start working on the six seven um, P pump six seven. So here is the block. Now this is just a. I honestly don't know what year the block is out of. I'd have to I'd have to check. But um, six seven block. There's really nothing special about it. I was going to use that dual thrust block, but I've decided I'm going to keep that for a different project. And this engine is not going to make crazy power. I only need to make about a thousand maybe 1100 horsepower with it so it's not like it needs to make crazy power um and i don't think that the it's going into a light truck so i don't i don't need crazy everything i was going to use the the um dual thrust but this engine will be more than fine so six seven block um we've already uh, i'm staying standard bore um it's gonna have it's got nine thou piston to wall clearance um and it was actually a stretch to get nine thou out of it i thought it was gonna have to go more um, but we ended up 9th thou got uh, got the piston to wall clearance cleaned up. I just pulled it out of the jet wash, um, so there's still I'm gonna have to put it back in the jet wash again. I just didn't want it to uh, to sit with the um, water based coolant from our hone in there all Christmas. So what you need to do to put a P pump case on these is well, there's a few things, but you can set it on there. It don't line up. There are some holes that don't line up. So first off, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull the these dowel pins out, and I'm going to tape this face off. I like to tape it off so you, you're not getting metal in spots where you don't want to get metal. We do have to. We actually have to plug a couple holes with bolts so that we can uh, drill and tap like halfway through the bolt hole into another bolt. That's a little bit daunting, but yeah, after you do it a few times, it's not bad. And then we need to knife some of this off because the timing case hits it in here. So what we're gonna do is I'll pull those dowels out. I'm gonna cut that off, tape this face. I'm gonna put that in a time lapse, and then I'll come back when I get that. And then we're gonna mark all everywhere we need to, um, to drill. And I'll show you the guys the holes that line up, which ones don't, and all that stuff. All right, guys, so um, you can see I got the timing case on there. And what I've done is I use a countersink bolt to line the timing case up because I, these holes are always going to be this. These holes are the same. Doesn't matter which case you use. So you're going to have you still have to check gear lash and all that stuff. But it's an easy way to get a, an idea where it needs to sit. And that's everyone that I've ever done. They sit right there. So we are going to remember which ones are right here. There's that one lines up. Of course, I don't have enough bolts in here to put this in. What do I need? One. So basically all you got to do is just figure out which ones line up, which ones don't line up. Because they will either line up perfect or they don't line up at all. This one doesn't line up, that one doesn't line up. That one lines up. That one don't line up, that one don't line up. Now these ones I know don't line up, but this one kind of is like half on the line of lining up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a transfer punch and we're gonna mark the ones that don't line up here. And we're gonna uh, do also with the dowel hole or the dowel pin, um, cause I do like to add the dowel pins and then the, the other dowel pins over here. I don't know if you honestly, if you haven't, cause I actually use countersink bolts for these five when I'm doing this, plus this dowel hole. I don't know if you need to really use uh, dowel pins, but I do just because it's not that hard to set up. So um, what I'll do is I'm going to grab the transfer punch kit and I'll be right back.
here in a second. So, for you guys who don't know what transfer punches are, this is a transfer punch. It basically just has a point on the end and then you use the size that you need to get down inside there. So, basically, and you don't have to hit them very hard. If you hit them real hard, you damage them. So don't have to drive on them. Basically just gotta find one that fits the hole properly. Fits the hole properly and it doesn't get stuck because that one feels like it's gonna get stuck in there. Have to go down one size. These holes aren't the same size as the bolts, they're a little bit bigger. So anyways, just And you will have to you will have to take the case on and off a couple times. Just to make sure that you got everything. I just I'll mark this one just so that you guys can see what I mean by you have to drill up. You have to put a bolt in and cut the bolt off and drill through the bolt hole. So now that this is there again, super rocket science type stuff, you can buy, if you guys want, you can buy a case that just bolts on here. You don't have to modify anything. And if that's what you want to do, hey, by all means, you can do that. There's a bunch of companies that sell them. Um, I'm going to pull this back off just so we can show you guys. All right. So I'm just going to pull these babies off here now. I guess I should have just left the, I usually don't take it on and off to drill it, but I just wanted to show you guys. I should have just waited to put the tape on. I might just pull the tape off again. So, if you're doing it with an old, uh, with the 12 valve, 12 valve style case, I just circled it. You can see these are the ones that we have to drill and tap. So, some of them aren't, aren't a big deal, right? Now, that being said, if you look at this one, encroaches onto this hole right and then same with this one you drill that in and it's going to go into this hole too so what we have to do is you these ones i don't know a hundred percent i i put a bolt in them and just to be safe i'd rather be safe than sorry but you still want to be careful drilling them because you get off patty wampus because the hole with the dowel pin and stuff, I don't put, I don't fill the hole in completely. So, but you get it drilled and tapped so the case can't move. And then this one, I put a bolt in here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drill and tap these. I'm gonna put bolts in here, cut them off, and then we'll drill and tap those ones. And uh, then we can put the case on, just that easy. Time consuming, but easy. It is easy. Everything's easy with the tools and the know-how, boys. So I'm working on giving you guys the know-how, and you guys have to work on the tools. Um, some of the tools, you know, like I've been talking, I'm going to start making some of the stuff that I, I do use and have and have made um, because it does make life a little easier. So I'm going to put you guys back on time lapse, and I'll start drilling holes.
All right, gentlemen. We're back at doing this thing. I had a couple days here moving some shop stuff around, so I kind of got tied up so to get the video finished. So you've seen in the time lapse, I got the holes all drilled. And I did them with a hand drill just to show you you can do with a hand drill, tap them all by hand. Um, everything's lined up. Now something that you do need to do, and I will show doing it, is you need to check your valve or your uh, sorry your gear lash to make sure that there is enough gear lash between your cam gear and your injection pump gear. I'll show how to do that. But before you you know glue and tighten everything all down, you need to check that to make sure that you don't have to shift the case at all to make sure everything lines up. But I'll show you how to I'll show you how I do that. So. Um, what I'm going to do quick here is I'm just going to pull these bolts out. Show you a quick couple of the things that I had to do. So these ones here, I, I put a bolt in and then the dowel that usually goes in and then just cut them off. But you can see that there's a space there, but I just like it for the extra support when you're going down through the hole. Same idea on this one. And then I put a bolt in here because the hole comes so close to the edge of it, right? And then these are the ones that are already good. Now something to note is this one is a blind hole these two are not blind holes. They are gonna go into water jacket. So you need to make sure that you seal those holes when you're doing it. Um, otherwise, ah, I don't honestly don't know because you, you seal, you, you know, like I use sealant on the case. So I honestly don't think that you probably ever have an issue, but nonetheless, um, I use uh, um, thread sealant on these. And then, you know, like I, you know, or even using the Loctite, I'm sure would be more than enough. Especially considering you use case seal, a little extra case seal, and you'll be good. But I use uh, uh, liquid Teflon on those. So, anyways, that's the block side of things. Um, so that's the timing case set on there. That's literally all you have to do. It's pretty simple. Lots of guys seem to think it's really hard. It's not that hard. Like I said, um, I, I usually do it on the seat and guide machine actually for drilling them. But I just wanted to show you, you can do it with a hand drill. So I, and I took me, nah. Uh, I would say in full time, maybe, maybe an hour and 45 minutes ish. Didn't take that long. Um, so it wasn't that bad. So anyways, um, what I'm gonna do, what we're gonna have to do, um, it won't be on this video, it'll be on the next video. Um, we're gonna put this timing case back on again. We're gonna put this timing case back on again, injection pump on, and a cylinder head, just set cylinder head on there. We're gonna double check all of our measurements to make sure nothing is touching. Uh, make sure we have clearance for the, the um, injection pump in the head. Make sure everything's kosher there. And I do have a side draft for this, so if it's not, we'll put a side draft on it. Um, but it doesn't, for the setup that we're doing, it doesn't need a side draft. But if I have to, ah well, shucks, I'll do it. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, so this is at the end of video two for the P-Pump 6-7 build. We shall catch you on the next one.